Hi, this is Chris, and in this tip video, I'm going to cover some of the functionality available in the Shot Manager, specifically tweening. Do you know what tweening is? Although FrameForge was designed primarily for preparing film shoots, a large percentage of users also use it to create presentations, sell their skills, or illustrate a pitch. This usually means showing their storyboard on screen actively. In other words, it means creating a sort of animation. To provide for this need, we offer a technique we call tweening. Tweening refers to the automatic generation of storyboard frames that exist between two target or keyframes, effectively producing stop-motion animation. Tweening will create these in-between frames for you automatically, giving you a nice, smooth sequence. The process of tweening is done via the Shot Manager and entails identifying existing shots as keyframes. Take the following two shots as an example. These two shots, one with the motorcycle on the left, the second one with the motorcycle on the right, are the keyframes in this example. I need to select both shots, in this case by simply dragging a rectangle around them and then clicking the Create Tweens button here. The Tween Generation menu will appear, which allows you to specify the options for generating your tweens. I want FrameForge to calculate how many tween shots to create based upon my desired frames per second rate, so I'm going to check this option here. I can also change my desired FPS rate with this drop down menu here. I can specify how long the sequence of shots should be with this function here. In this case, I'm going to choose a 3 second duration. There are other options you can peruse at your own convenience at the bottom of this menu. If you're happy with the options chosen so far, it's time to create the tweens. Use this Create Tweened Frames button in the lower right to kick off the process. Once FrameForge finishes creating the tween shots, you can preview the animation with this Play as a Slideshow function here. This is a simple example, but I hope it serves as a great introduction to tweening and how powerful a feature it is. In the next tip video, I'm going to talk about more advanced tweening functionality.